update on Unfortunately, I lost all the footage in the accident, so story time will have to do. All right, so Lucas and I are finishing up our 21 days of work. It's our last shift. We're pumping each other up for the sick waves that are to be caught once we arrive in Tove. And that's when our tool push breaks the news to Lucas that a guy bailed on him, and now that Lucas might need to stay in for a few extra days. Now I had a decision to make. Do I wait around in Dawson Creek to find out if Lucas does indeed need to stay in? Or do I leave and not waste a whole one-ninth of my days off? After consulting our father, who suggested I wait, I realized Lucas will most definitely need to stay in, and I was not ready to waste another day. Lucas agreed. I got on the road and drove through the night. It's a long journey to uh, the Vancouver Ferry, roughly 12 hours from Dawson Creek. I'm pulling over to rest when I needed it, and after coming too close to too close for comfort with a Volkswagen hating moose, I pulled over once again to rest my eyes. I woke up, got on the road, and the next thing I remember, I was being pulled out of my car, laying on the gravel with dirt in my mouth, and a very sad sight of my beloved 6'2 Gary Hanel retro fish, surfboard's first foot of the nose separated from the rest, along with my Volkswagen TDI engine resting beside it. My very disoriented and concussed self when asked, did not know where I came from, where I was going, or who I was with. I was convinced I was with Lucas, but I was alone. Then the RCMP officer asked me how many drinks I'd had. You would think that that question would be irrelevant, considering I did not know where I was going, where I came from, where I was, or who I was with. But the officer insisted that I needed to be breathalyzed and not rushed to the hospital. I blew zero. Then I was rushed to Williams Lake Hospital, where my dislocated hip was popped back into place, dragging the bone fragments behind my femur and behind my femur and my wrist was casted. Then I was flown to Kamloops. That's where I waited surgery. I had a 10 pound weight hanging off the end of my foot, pulling my femur away from my hip socket to prevent further damage from the bone fragments. The surgery was to remove said fragments, piece my hip back together, and extract my internal bleeding. Seven days later, I was released from the hospital. Yeah, this, this is a good time to update. Uh, <clears throat> gone to a car accident on the way to Tofino. Uh, dislocated my hip and broke it in a few spots. Uh, got surgery, got a big old incision, bunch of staples in my hip. I got metal plate or two and a bunch of screws in there broke my wrist but I'm alive somehow so plans change um, headed to the airport um, the accident happened just outside Williams Lake uh, I was rushed to the hospital and then flown into Kamloops um, from 
from Williams Lake. Now we are driving to uh, Kelowna to fly home. Today is the June 19th. This all happened on uh, like four in the morning on the on June 12th. Super thankful to be alive. Um, now I got six long months of recovery, and uh, we'll see what happens. But try and keep videos coming, but can't do much. Can't walk. Uh, I got a wheelchair and a walker and crutches, and then should be fully recovered in six months. So make a little video of getting back home. But that's it for now. Sadly, but it is what it is. I'm alive to see another day. Record another video. Got home. <clears throat> I, uh, I weighed myself. I had lost 27 pounds in less than a month. Recovering from this injury has been far from easy. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. I bought myself a MacBook to keep me busy and to use my time immobilized to improve my computer skills and learn how to edit. I spent as much time as I can could with family and friends, which helped a lot. Lots of physio and exercise. Although I still am not fully recovered, I'm grateful for the progress I've made. This experience has made it painfully clear to me that I only have one life. One life that I do not get the privilege to choose when or how it ends. It taught me how to appreciate everything, from being able to pee using my own bladder, putting my own socks on, to spending another dinner with my mother or having beer with my dad. Seeing the fall colors change from vibrant green to colorful autumn yellow, orange, and red. If you take anything from my videos, let it be this. Embrace and enjoy what you have. No matter how little or how big, how shitty or how good. Whether it's groovy tunes on your daily commute to work or wherever you're going, a warm hot chocolate or a breath of fresh air, or even just peeing all on your own. Enjoy it, because as shitty as it sounds, it's just as true. It may just be your last. Be positive, love one another, and push yourself to be the best you can be. Thanks, dudes. Hopefully uh, you guys get, get the message from the video. Like it, subscribe. Uh, lots more adventures to come, still recovering. It'll be a few more months before we got some crazy stuff going on, snowboarding or surfing, but I'll get there, I promise you. Peace!